Night Against the Hills Outside my window now, somewhere beyond rapid eye movement, in the darkest dream hours before dawn, the triple trinity of clocks, there is a chirping unison of many crickets, becoming one cricket, raising the steady at-rest heartbeat of this gray, half-seen shade world. And next door, a night-blooming cactus as high as my second-story window opens thirteen white blossoms, lures the pollinating hum of early bees. The voluptuous scent exhaled by lilacs wafts over us where hours ago we laid ourselves down in defeat to seek the promised purgative, the small, vaunted renewals of sleep shut I by now all too brief. From the window the scene under a full moon reminds of other nights far away in snow. Above us something predatory forsakes the high trees, slides through air on dark wing, glides, hunts for small movements in underbrush. And just a block away, in the looming where summer's parched, untamed hills begin, Yips and howls rise from a coyote foraging down into town. Behind their sturdy, moon-white picket fences, a few dogs respond. Half-hearted barking, a tepid alarm that stirs some sleepers, awakens no one.